if you don't pray, go away. These people will attack you yes, because they are coming in the night where you sleep. Yes, that is true. Yeah, you always see people coming. Yes. Uh, coming to the bed where you are. Yes, that is true. And they try to press you. Very true. You wake up very, very tired. If you don't pray, these people, they want to attack you. Yes, that is very this true. This body of yours here is always heavy. Yes, that is. Huh? It happens on Thursday, yes. Huh? Where is it on Thursday? It happens on Thursday. Yes, God loves you, but I want to pray for you, for God to release you from these attacks. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, that is. Huh? Yes. Because if not, the same attack that killed Mama will kill you. Yes, that is true. Sometimes you feel like you are not seeing clear. Yes, that is huh? very true, yes. When you wake up, you try to hold your eyes here. Yes, it's very huh? true, yes. I touch your eyes. I'm coming from Tembisa, Winnie Mandela, Zone 10. Today, the man of God located you. Can you tell us the word of prophecy that she gave to you and also confirm it? Yeah. They did the prophecy that she, they did the prophecy that he, he spoke to me about. It, it was very true. It happens on Thursday night. I nearly died because I was attacked. I couldn't see. I was feeling dizzy. So I thought maybe I'll never make it. But I thank God that God still saved my life today. And how was this thing that was op oppressing? Because you said there is something that comes to oppress you. How was it coming? It's like there's like someone was like, like someone was coming like was on top of me. And then he was holding like my breath, so I couldn't breathe well. Like someone like people like were sleep on top of me, so I couldn't breathe well. Like someone was holding out my breath, so I couldn't breathe. I couldn't move, and the one I was feeling was dizzy. I was feeling very hot and dizzy, so I nearly, I just, I nearly fell down. I think what helps me is because I was, I was, the charity was on, so this, that's the thing, only thing that helped me, yeah, survive. And did you see this thing, or you didn't see it? I think I saw it before it happened. Normally, it happens many times. It has happened before, but only when it comes, I could feel and I know that this thing had happened. So on last week Thursday, it was worse to a point that I nearly died. That time, I thought I was gonna die. It was very worse. They nearly killed me. And he also mentioned the fact that when you would wake up, you will not be able to see clearly. Is that true? Yeah, normally when I wake up every morning, starting from last month, when I wake up, I will feel this heaviness in my head. And I, I have this strong headache. I couldn't even see. I couldn't walk. So I'll be asking myself, like, what's wrong? Like, my head will be heavy. I'll be feeling like someone's, like, there's a needle in my, in my head. So I will feel very dizzy and painful. So I don't know. I couldn't understand what was happening. That is very true. It, it, have, it was happening. But I thank God for again that He has saved my life again. And I still believe that He's going to save my life and He's going to fight for me. And this thing that was oppressing you, would it bring fear to you when you are supposed to go to sleep that perhaps it will come and strangle me until it kills me? Yeah, I, 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 I almost spent maybe a week without sleeping because I know about like this time, about this time of maybe around 10, 11, I know that time, that time I don't have to sleep around up until 4 o'clock in the morning. I know if I sleep, those people will come. So sometimes I'll just spend myself reading the Bible, I'll just sit on top of the bed up until morning. Then I'll sleep during the day but not in my room. Maybe I'll come and sleep at church or at my friend's room or somewhere else because if I go, the minute, the minute I enter my room, there'll be this heat that will hit me on top of my head. So this thing, it, it started there so I was afraid to stay even in my room. I couldn't even sleep and do anything. But I thank God. Uh, that and today you received your deliverance. How are you feeling and what are you believing God for? Now I feel like uh, when I came here, I was feeling I was having this pain like towards my previous past. My my my, my bone was painful. All of my bone was painful, and at the same my eyes I couldn't see when I pray. I couldn't see clearly. There was this darkness that I could see. But now after they spoke to me, now I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm healed. I'm healed. Thank you. Could you just come here, brother? God wants to use you, but there is nobody close to you. Yes, it's that's not true. That's true. Uh, you've been worrying about the issue of what will happen to me. Yes. Even when you come here, there's this spirit that fights you people. Yes. Because sometimes you isolate yourself. Yes. Eh? Yes. Uh, they are, but there are pastors around you. Yes. Eh? Yes. Yes. True. But because of what they are talking. Yes. Eh? Yes. You try to isolate yourself. Yes. Is it what, I, what I'm? Talking? What I'm saying, is it true to you? It's very true, eh? very, very true. Because you realize that you want to hold something in you. 
you are praying for something. Yes. Yeah? Yes. You want God to use you, but you realize when you are with this pastor, when they talk here, they don't talk what is right. Yes, eh? that's true. That's very true. It shows that you don't need them. But I'll pray for you. Where's your wife? At home. Eh? At home. So, because I'm seeing attack in your marriage there. Yes. Eh? yes. This argument must come to an end. In yes. Jesus' name. Ouch! Leave him. Ouch! In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on. Leave this stammer. You are free. Can you just come? Uh, my name is Lucky Maja. I'm from Limpopo in Zanin. Today, the man of God located you. Can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Yes, uh, the man of God has located me and said that uh, there are some people in my life, but especially the pastors that I'm associated with, which speak things which I'm, I don't find them very, very good to me. And I confirm that to be true. And he also said I've been praying that God must use me which was the, really the cry of my heart. I've been praying for that, that God must use me mightily. The other thing that the man of God spoke about is about the issue. He, he asked me, where is your wife? I said, my wife is at home in Zanene. And he said, you must pray for your marriage because I see some arguments in your marriage, which I can, I can also confirm to be true. There are some arguments and he said, this argument must come to an end. Yeah, I can confirm that to be true. And how would this argument normally start? Uh, just, they'll just start as a little argument. By the end of the day, they'll, they'll just hurt my spirit, you know, and they'll just um, make the Holy Spirit to be grieved inside of me. So they really affected my fellowship with God. They really affected my calling as well. And for how long has this been happening? Um, for as much as I can think, I think two years now. Yeah, two years now. Yes. And the issue of uh, these pastors that were saying things that you were not un understanding to a point that you had to isolate yourself, what is it that they were saying to you? Uh, there were just a lot of things that they were saying that I really don't understand them very clearly. Many, many, many of them never believe that I'm called. Many, many, many believe that I really don't know what I'm doing. That's why I decided to isolate myself and just go away from them. Yes. And when the man of God today told you that God is going to use you, how was that for you? Oh, you, you. That, I, you know, it was, it was an answer to my prayer. I was so happy. I'm so excited. You know, I, I give God the glory and I thank God for his grace. Yes, yes. And also thank God for the man of God, really. Thank God a lot. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thanks. There's something that is happening to you, but it happened to your father. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Uh, you people here, uh, when you grow up, you fail to marry. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. And even yourself now, you are lonely now. Yes, so sir. This thing is something that repeating itself. It's yes. like it's a curse that repeats itself. Yes, sir. So, so I pray for you, you break this curse of failing to marry. You are free. Can you just come here? My name is Leonard Malek. I'm coming from Gyan Meningnes village. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? I, I received that uh, myself I have a curse and my family parents I have a curse. Yes. Is it true? Yeah, it's uh, true. What was happening? Uh, myself I have a curse for high blood and also. Um, uh, and also, um, I have uh, kidney cases, yes. Yeah. And when were you diagnosed with high blood? Uh, from uh, 2010, yeah. And how was it affecting you? What are the things that you were not able to do because of this high blood and also the kidneys? Uh, it's like um, if I'm sleeping, I swim. Uh, like um, if I'm not going to tell any joke at too much, mm. yeah, yeah, that's one. Okay, uh, this high blood was affecting me in a way that when I'm sleeping, I will sweat a lot. And were you using any medication? Yeah, I'm using medication for high blood, yeah. And now that the man of God has prayed for you, how are you feeling? Now I'm feeling uh, so so good. Mm. 
do you, do you believe that God has done it for you? Yeah, I believe. Yeah. Amen. I need to pray for you because of the job. Okay. Eh? okay. Where are you working now? I'm working in Bulukwan. Eh? In Bulukwan. I need to pray for you because of what is happening there. Okay. Uh, they were supposed to have lifted you up. Okay, Papa. But this is serious delay. Okay, Papa. And uh, this thing has been happening. There's too much delay in your life. Mm, delay in true. marriage. That's true. Delay in progress. That's true. Everything, Papa. everything you do, you struggle. Very true. Eh? Very true. Even when you are here, you are. You, you know what I'm talking about. She's my sister. Oh, it's your sister. Am I speaking the truth? Yeah, you're speaking the truth. Eh? Yes. So God wants to break this delay. There's uh, a brother who disappointed you. Yes, he In is. the last minute. Yes, eh? that's true. That's true, Papa. Bring out. Bring out. So uh, how do you know about that? The brother I'm talking about. I don't know about the brother. You don't even know. Because we yes. have only one brother, but she, he, he is around here. Eh? He is around here, my brother. No, I mean the brother. Who is supposed to marry me? To marry him. He, I you thought we were talking about the, our brother. The one who was supposed to marry. I don't know about him. Eh? I'm talking about the father of my child. I'm talking uh, here about the father of my eh? child. Uh, I know him, William. You know him now? Yeah. Rise up, rise up. Rise up, sister. There's a car that is coming to you. I receive. Because you've been crying to get a car. I receive. You see this white car that is coming. I receive, Papa. Uh, and I still have a lot of things. There, there is something that I wrote there. The doctor... Don't worry about me. this one. Okay. That's why I thank prayed you. for you for the second time. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, don't listen to the doctor. Otherwise... Okay. The customs will go away from you. Okay, I receive my car. I'm Rafilwe. I'm coming from Seshiro in Polokwani. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today from the man of God and also confirm it? Uh, the prophecy that I received from the man of God, she, he prophesied me about that there was supposed to, I was supposed to be married by a certain man. So unfortunately, that man decided not to marry me. And then the second testimony, the, the, the problem is at my workplace. They were supposed to promote me a long time ago. So unfortunately, I didn't get that promotion. But the man of, pro of God confirmed that they will, uh, I will get the promotion. And what was the reason for this person that disappointed you end up not marrying you? I really don't know. Mm. He just left me. He just left me. And how did that affect you? Pardon? How did it affect you? Oh, it's very, very painful. Because even now, I, I don't have someone in my life. Were you having hope that God can bless you with the right person after this person has disappointed you? I just despair that I'll never ever get someone. All of them, I think they, all of them are trying to play with me. They're playing games with me. Hmm. And he also mentioned the fact that you're going to buy a car. Were you planning on buying a car? Yes, since this year, even I went to a, a prayer foundation at my church in Dimpopo. This year, one of my prayer items was to buy a car. And when I came here with the, the car of my, of, we traveled with the, 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 my, my sister's car. On our way, I told her that uh, very soon, I have to go and buy a car. Even when that guy came with the Range Rover in front there, I was telling her that after today going back home, I'm going to the garage, I'm going to buy my car. Dreams. And now that the man of God has located you and also prayed for you, what are you believing God for? Uh, I think everything that he has prophesied will come to pass. And how are you feeling? I'm feeling very free. And I'm very happy for that. And I, I do believe that going back to Limpopo, things will never ever uh, be the same. I'm going back with my miracles. Mm. Where is your husband? In a room. Eh? In my room. Okay. In my room. In your room? Yes. When you come here, you say what? You were supposed to come with me, but 
his friend came. Eh? He was supposed to come with me here, but his friend came. You say what? His friend came. He doesn't have good friends. You must tell him. Eh? Okay. Yes, you must tell him. He doesn't have good God wanted to bless your husband today. Today. Because he has been crying. Even yesterday he prayed that God, when I reached to church, now Satan sent someone. You understand? I understand. I was supposed to be speaking with him about his calling. Tell him that you don't have good friends. Leave friends and God will speak with you. Come, brother. Uh, I'm surprised, Sankwenika. I come from Ivor. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Uh, I received a prophecy about my husband that then their friends are the ones that they are destroying his life. And it's true because today I was supposed to come with him here around 10 o'clock. His friend came and stopped him to come here. And what kind of a lifestyle is his friends living? Um, his friends are people that always drinking and even him he was drinking but now he's no longer drinking so but they still coming to see hey they want to, i want to see you and did you ever try to advise him or to tell him that he should leave his friends and concentrate on god because the man of god said god wants to use him have you ever tried to speak to him about that yes every time i i tell him that let's go to church God will help you, but like sometimes he came with me, sometimes no, but today he was supposed to come. And how would that affect you that when you tell him let's go to church, he will not come because of his friends? Oh, it's, it's affecting me a lot because like I, I can't pray without like when someone is sleeping, I must just wake up, tell, tell him that he must wake up and pray, but he can't, he can't. And as the man of God has located your husband through you today, what are you believing God is going to do for your husband? Oh, I believe that God is going to is going to do something better for him because obviously when the man of God pray for me, obviously through him is going to be at least something better. Yeah. And how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm excited. There's a dream you have dreamed, and there are people who are dying in the family. And yes, yes, man of God. And, and this thing is really worrying you. Because yes, the way people God. are dying, they die in a, sto in a story, like a story. Yeah, huh? that's true. And even now when you are here, you have been praying against that. That's but true, man of God. We don't want to bury again. You will say we don't want to bury again. That's true. And you are here for the family. I will pray for you. You are blessed. Come. I'm Godwin Mbedzi, original from Venda, but I live in uh, uh, Ebony Park, extension one. And can you tell us the word of prophecy you received from the man of God and also confirm it? Yeah, that is true because when I first came here, uh, that was in 2016, that was after I lost my wife. That was uh, almost a month after I lost my wife. Then I came to church. Then from there, we lost another brother. That was a period of less than a year we were bearing again. So, yeah, since I came here, I've been praying about this all the time. So I hope I will receive my blessing. Then since the prophet is a prophesied, that was always my worry. And I hope all will go well from now. Yes. Yes. And how was this uh, spirit of death in the family affecting you and the fact that you lost your wife and also your brother? Yeah, it really affected me. Those were not the first people to live. It's uh, my father, my uncle, yeah. They were just going like uh, some of them, they just committed suicide. So yeah, that was uh, very much uh, trouble to me. And with people dying just like that, was it also bringing fear in you that maybe even you something bad can happen to you? Of course, right now as I came here, I was so much worried who will be the next uh, one to come. Yeah, so yeah, I was always worried. And were you expecting that the man of God was going to locate this challenge today? Um, 
I wasn't expecting him to tell me this. I, it was just uh, within myself. I was just worried about it. But I never told anyone about it. Yeah, it was just within me. And how do you feel that he located you and told you about what is happening and what was worrying you? Really, it gives me hope now that it has been located that there's something that bothers me all the time. It gives me hope that maybe this is maybe it's a generational case. I don't know. Maybe it will just stop from now. Yes. And how are you feeling? Oh, much better now. Much better. Really, I'm a bit relieved now. Yeah, man. There's a problem of your leg. Yes. Huh? Yes. But this problem is like your leg lock. Yes. When you walk, sometimes yes. you pull it. Yes. And you feel a strange pain. Yes, that's huh? true. That's true. And since you have this problem, everything is falling down. Yes, that's true. Because you have been trying many things now. That's true. Huh? That's true. And it's like the family is rejecting you. That's so, true, man of God. So don't worry. After I touch you here, you'll be free. You are blessed. My name is Mapula Zwana. I'm from Spread. And can you tell us the word of prophecy that you received from the man of God and also confirm it? Uh, I confirm the, pres uh, the prophecy to be truth because uh, uh, Daddy told me about uh, the problem of my legs. It's always uh, troubling me. It's pulling me. And uh, I didn't even sleep before I can ask my husband to wrap me. So I confirm the, the prophecy to be truth. And Daddy told me that uh, my family rejected me. That's true. My sister-in-law, they don't like me. And I, I do even told myself that it's fine because I'm staying at my house. So I confirm that the prophecy is true. And what's the reason that your sister-in-laws, they don't like you? I don't know the reason. I don't know why they do that. And was it affecting you, the fact that they, didn't, they don't like you? Yes, it was affecting me because every month, every year, if there's a birthday for someone, we always come together. But I always told myself that I'm not going to go to their houses. And if they do that celebration, I always stay at my house. I don't go to them. And when did your legs start started to give you problems? Um, I think it's two years back, but I didn't know what's going on because sometimes I just when I walk I just pull my leg. Where sometimes it's painful, and when I sleep, I always ask my husband to wrap me before I can sleep because it was painful. And, and how was it affecting your daily life, the chores that you're supposed to do? Yes, it's affecting me because at work I'm always standing. So I always tell myself it's because I always work standing, not even sitting down. So I just told myself it's that pro the, the problem is because I always standing. Yeah. So you didn't go to the doctor to find out? No, I didn't go to the doctor. I always pray for that. And now that the man of God has located your challenges and also prayed for you, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling better because he said one touch, you're going to touch me once and everything is going to be fine. Because even, me, even today when I, 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 I was at home, I just told my kids that today is going to be my day. Even them, they're not even getting uh, uh, the job and they're finishing the varsity. I said today everything's going to be changing my life. So I'm happy because the man of God touched me today. Amen. Can you just come here? Where's your husband? People I don't have. In your family here, people they don't marry. I don't have. Huh? I don't have. It's not only you. Yes. The whole family. Yes. You people, you fail to marry. Yes. Okay. Let me touch you here. It will happen to other people, but to you, you say it's late. My name is Kaludia Shilwani. Uh, mm, Originally, I'm coming from Bujbagresh. Can you tell us the word of prophecy you received today and also confirm it? They just said, uh, where is your husband? I say, I don't have. And you said, uh, I can see that there is a problem of marriage in your family, which is true. In my family, marriage is a problem. What happens? We are, my brothers and my sisters who are not getting married, those who are married, they keep on fighting, fighting each and every time. And how was that affecting you? It was affecting too much. Even me, I was married before. So my marriage just ended up just like that. And what caused your marriage to end? Just a fight. Mother-in-law keep on fighting with me. And, and how would that affect you? Oh, it affected me very much. Now I keep on praying for marriage. So today I'm happy because I know that the case for marriage is broken. 
and were you praying that God should locate this generational curse in your family since you are not getting married? Yes, yes. At last I came for one on one for this. Mm. And, and how are you feeling that the man of God has located you and also prayed for you today? Today I'm very much happy because I know that this curse is already broken. Amen. I saw God blessing you with a truck. Oh, thanks, man. It's like you've been searching for a truck. Yes, Pastor. Is it true? Yes, that's what Who's God free? God free, I don't remember. So God wants to bless you because I see somebody giving you a truck. Because I'm hearing it's God free. You want a truck? Yes, I want eh? a truck. Yes, man. What do you want to do with a truck? I want to do it for transportation. Eh? Transportation. Let me touch you. It will happen. You are blessed. Thank you, Jesus. I'm Thomas. I'm from Alex. And can you tell us the word of prophecy you received today from the man of God and also yes. confirm it? Yeah. Uh, the, man of, the man of God prophesied about the truck yes. that someone's going to give it to me. And I confess it to be true because like, I was dreaming to be my own boss. So, But now I'm so happy because now the man of God prophesied about it. And it means this will come to pass. And that's what I was looking for. Are you doing a business that requires a truck? Yes, I was looking for it. I was looking for a truck, yes. Why, why were you looking for a truck? Uh, you know what? Before that, I had a lot of things that I wanted to do. But you know what? Uh, a truck, it was not something that I was like thinking about it. But as the man of God mentioned, then I, now I know that yeah, I was looking for it. Yes. And how do you feel that you've been praying for this kind of a change and the man of God located you and also prayed for you? You know, I'm so happy because I've been praying and then, you know, like I was asking my God, when are you going to bless me? When are you going to... That, that was my prayer every time and again. But today I'm so happy because God had my prayer and I believe that now, now is the time for God to show himself to me. And what kind of challenges were you facing for you to say, God, can you just bless me? You know, the problem that I was facing is like, you know what, it's very much, it's very hard like when you're a Christian. And then you find yourself coming to church, and you know what? People they look at you, they see you coming to church every Sunday, and people that the, the, the don't even come to church. And then at the end of the day, like you see, there's no result. You know, things it makes you to feel like you know your God is not there for you. But now I know I believe that God is aware of everything. Yes. The prayer you are praying, God has answered it, but Thank it you. seems as if you are not believing God. <laughs> it's like you don't believe God. Can you just come? I believe. Yes. There's a, there's a dream you have dream. I'm talking about dreams now. Yes. There's a dream that you saw so, you were fighting someone. And this thing happened a long time ago. And now it happens to you that even now you are like this and you are afraid for your child that even your child will face what you have faced. Huh? Yes, Daddy. Always you are praying that God must do something for your daughter. It's true, Daddy. Huh? It's true. Because it started with a dream where you dream when you were, and you were fighting for some, against someone, it was like you were fighting and you wake up very, very tired. And since then, you face disappointment, disappointment, until today you are lonely. Very true. You are free. Okay, my name is Sophie Machaba. I'm staying in Tembisa at the uh, Tepo section. And can you tell us a word of prophecy and also confirm it? Okay, man of God told me about a dream that I had long time ago, fighting with someone. Yes, it is very true. And uh, he told me that when I wake up, I wake up uh, um, feeling tired. And since that day, my life has changed. I face a uh, disappointment every day until today. I'm lonely. And for how long have you been having this problem of a spiritual husband? It's a, a, a very, very long time. I can't remember one, but it's a very long time. Yes. And you also mentioned the fact that when you wake up, you would feel tired. So what were the things you were not able to do? Um, Every day when I, when I wake up, I feel very, very, very tired. It's like uh, I was not sleeping. I was waking the whole night. Yeah. 
and have you ever tried to seek for deliverance before or you thought it was normal? No, I, I didn't uh, get a deliverance, but I knew that it's not normal because uh, I can't live like that. If you are sleeping, you must wake up uh, having a okay in your body. Yes. And now that the man of God has prayed for you for deliverance, how are you feeling? I'm feeling much better. In fact, I can say I am totally free from every every worries of this earthly life. I am totally free. I feel delivered right now. I feel free right now. Yes. My brother, yes. we need to pray for you very serious. Yes, I know. Uh, I know. Yeah, because of witchcraft. Yes, I you know. Are, you are surrounded by witches. Yes. Huh? Yes. Yes. Mm. How do you know? He's my father of my children. Huh? He's my father of my children. He's your father of your children? Yes. So these people are witching him. It's yeah, true. They Very true. Huh? Yeah, they Very are true. Around. We are even afraid to go home. You are afraid to go home? Yeah. Yes. You must pray. God loves you and you will overcome. I know. Thank you. Take it! Take it! Spirit of witchcraft. Yes, we block him. Huh? He was supposed to be far. You are supposed to be far. Yes. So you are blocking him. Yes. Why him? Because he's the first born in his because family. Because he's the first born. Yes, it's not true. So how do you block him? Since he graduated in 2011, even now he's working Since useless he jobs. Since he graduated 2011. Yes. My sister, I mean, can yes. you come here? Because this man was supposed to have done a wedding with you yes huh? it's true you, you wanted to do a wedding yeah but, but, uh, it was difficult eh. so it's going to happen it's going to happen sister come on you demon she's it's troubling us she's the one who brought him to church <laughs> Ouch, leave my brother. In Jesus' name. Amen. Eh, na, roll us <laughs> out, man. Roll one. What's the story, Mini? Oh, man, na, oh, roll us out, man. Oh, the other one, na, yo. We fought a lot, but they did. But it was difficult. She loved the church so much. Everywhere in the room, they are praying, they are praying, they are praying. It's so difficult, we do not understand. Your pictures in the room, they are so much. Always, always, this is my father, this is him. What, what? She's troubling us. No. Hi man. Oh. Because of this kid. And she she wanna ayani acha auna mutu wa wa jana kara kandi chano chicho. Why is she in Balela? She's the only one in the family who attends church. Hi man. I want my brother to get his job now. Amen. Now. Amen. Aro bloka. Rise up, brother. Rise up. You know, this demon, I'm not, I don't care. I want your freedom now. Amen. What kind of job were you searching? I want to, to, to be a travel consultant because I did tourism. You want to be? Travel consultant. So you study what? Tra travel. Tourism. Yes. So God is giving you something now. I receive. Yeah. Ouch! Leave it, leave it. It's over, it's over. If this one is blessed, this one must go. Now, yeah. man, I received it. Yes.
my name is Walchari Won Trabakare. I came from Ivory Park, but I'm, li uh, I'm staying in Venda. So uh, the person besides me is my mother of my children. Uh, and can you tell us a word of prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Uh, the man of God came to me and prophesied about uh, our family. And he said that uh, we are surrounded by the witches. And I confirm it to be true. Because uh, in every year, especially last year, I lost my sister uh, through cancer. And even last of last year, in February, true, I also lost my, uh, my, my, uh, my aunt by uh, cancer also. And also the issue of not me not getting a job. There's an issue of uh, me, like I've um, been uh, experiencing a lot of delay. Because since I graduated in 2011, I'm struggling to get my career job. So I confirm the, the, the prophecy to be true. And the issue of your family dying because of which is around, how was that affecting you? Uh, it was affecting me vaguely because we were even afraid to go home. When we go home, we always go with anointing water. When we use anointing water, we will find that snakes are coming everywhere. Even if when we, uh, we, we use the anointing water at the gate, we will see the strange things. Yes, I confirm the, the prophecy to be 100% true. And what kind of strange things would you come across? Uh, you will find at home there is a fight. My father will lose a job. Uh, and also, uh, sudden accidents. Uh, someone will just slip and fell down and uh, go to hospital. Even my father, my mother, was in and out from hospital uh, get, uh, 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 by just falling uh, from nowhere. That's why I'm even afraid. I also took my children to stay with mother of my uh, my, my my partner because of this thing, even my children have been attacked, at, attacked suddenly. So we are even afraid. So that's why I'm confirming this prophecy to be true. And the issue of searching for a job, what is it that you were not able to do because you are not working? Uh, right now I'm working as a general worker, which is not uh, enough for me to provide for my partner, because even men of God also Touch the issue of uh, I was supposed to be far because uh, I was supposed to marry this uh, uh, partner of yes. mine, which I tried last year, but I was just trying it because I marked the date on the anointing calendar. Uh, I said I want to marry her on uh, November, which I did. I managed to keep half. So I believe this God of charis is protecting me. And also, I believe this prophecy uh, is breaking every case in our family. I'm going to get my career job as the man of God already declared. And how are you feeling that the man of God has located uh, your family through you and also what has been happening in your life? Uh, I'm feeling blessed. I'm feeling, uh, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to, to hear the, 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 that prophecy. Because even my sister also, she experienced uh, four miscarriages. She's married, so she uh, don't have any kid. So I'm happy I, and I believe this prophecy, uh, it set my whole family as a whole. And I thank, I think, I thank God of Charis. I thank God of Charis. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? And also introduce the person next to you. My name is Surprise. I'm coming from Venda. And then the person next to you is my father of my children. And can you also confirm the prophecy that you received with him? Yeah, the, 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 the prophecy was very much true, 100% true, because we were facing struggling and then we were like blocked. Yeah. And how were these struggles, how were they affecting your lives? Yeah, it was affecting my life very much because I was struggling with my children, even myself, even him. But now I'm glad that we are free. I'm just praying for these people to understand you.
You hear me? Amen. Because many people, they hate you without a cause. Yeah, it's eh? true. It's true. It's not true. It's true. So don't worry. Everybody will celebrate you. Amen. You hear me? Amen. And just love everybody. Don't allow your faith to be affected by any people. Those who love you, who hate you, love them. Go fight for them. <laughs> and bless them. <laughs> because don't use this. It's like Satan is used this to affect your faith, your Christian life. Can you confirm, Mama? What you are saying is true. People, they just fight with us for no reason. Huh? Even the family members, they don't, they don't, it's like they don't want us so, for no reason. Yeah, because where you are going, everybody seeing is not small. <laughs> Amen. You, you hear me? Amen. So any competition, <laughs> you render it zero. <laughs> Amen. And you became a blessing. God bless you. My name is Agnes Ravutsolo. I'm from Alandale. And can you tell us the word of prophecy that you received today and also confirm it? Okay, the pro uh, apostle prophesied to me and said there are people who don't want me. And uh, I confirm the prophecy true because even in the family there are those people who don't want us. And even at work there are people who are after us or after me. So I can confirm the, 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 the prophecy is true and, in, and, and it was just a confirmation of the dream that I have where Apostle was praying for me saying there are people who are after you but don't worry they are defeated. So I can confirm the prophecy is true. Amen. And what are the things that they will do, the people of your job, uh, since you said that they were after you, what are the things that they will do to show that they are after you? They are against everything that I'm doing. Mm, so I can see they are, it's like they are not happy about everything that we are doing, yeah. And how was that affecting you, seeing that everyone, even at work, even at home, nobody is understanding you? It's not easy because every time you will feel that you will try your level best to do everything to please or to do the right thing, but at the end of the day you, you become discouraged, yeah. And were you praying to God about this challenge? Yes, I was praying for this every day. So I thank God for, the, for today because now God has answered my prayers because he has revealed what was the problem. Amen. And how are you feeling? I'm feeling happy and because all these things now I know it is because of the destiny. Amen. God wants to bless you, but it's like your mind now is going to business. Okay, did. Huh? Okay, did. Uh, your mind now is like what? It's like you want to start to do business. That's true, did. Huh? That is true. Come here. The issue of a job, you it bothers you a lot. Yes, did. Now you begin to think if I do business, it's better. Yes. Huh? Yes, did. Just see when I pray for you, I see, uh, I just see decorations. Yes, I do events. Huh? I do weddings. Okay, yeah. I do weddings and weddings. parties. Yeah, events. Uh, you are blessed. Thank you. Uh, my name is Eunice. I'm from Northwest. And can you tell us the word of prophecy that you received today, and also confirm it? Okay, uh, Daddy told me that he sees that um, the issue of, of the job is worrying me. Of which is true, uh, I was working as an analyst and my contract ended in October last year. So since October until now, I have been unemployed. And since I've been an adult, it's for the first time I have been unemployed. So that's why it was worrying me. Uh, of which the prophecy is true, yes, it was worrying me. And then the second prophecy, he spoke about, uh, he sees me wanting to start something new in business of which is true yes i i was i wanted to buy a, a property 
whereby it's a house where I will get tenants to rent that house out. And that's the business that I wanted to, to start. And then he told me the third prophecy about, he said he's seeing decorations, of which is true. I do events, I, I've got a business of events, I do weddings, uh, parties, like any type of events. So, yeah, the pro all the prophecies were true. Yes. And how were these three things affecting you? Uh, they were affecting me because um, actually my business, uh, the business of deco, the business of, of decoration, I've started it long ago, but I was not taking it serious because I was working all the time. So I was always concentrating on the job. But now since that, uh, I no longer have a, a permanent job. That's when I started to tell myself that, no, let me just focus on business. Maybe that's where God wants me to be. And let me just beg, this, beg the, the, the deco business. Let me beg it up with something else because, you know, with deco, it's something that you do seasonal. So I thought, no, let me just buy houses and then get tenants, whereby I'll be getting money every month. And the fact that you were working and also doing a business, the job that you were doing, did you want it to help you in your business if things don't go as you think that they can go? My, my work, I was using it as an injection for my business to grow so that when I, I retire, at least I, have, I leave a legacy for my kids. That's what I wanted because, uh, uh, like, um, for, for me personally, I enjoy the business more than the job. So, but without the job, uh, uh, it's difficult for me to have everything that I want to have in my business. So, in another way, the job was also assisting me. But by the grace of God, it's four months now that I'm, I'm unemployed and I'm only focusing on my business. And my business is flourishing, even though it's not where I want it to be. But I'm not struggling and I've got food. I'm able to take care of myself. And now that the man of God has located these challenges that you were coming across, how are you feeling? What are you believing God for? Uh, 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 I'm very happy about the prophecy and I'm, I'm very happy that God has located my, my, my issue and he knows about my problem. And I'm glad that the man of, of God said to me that I'm blessed and my business is blessed. So I believe that uh, from now on everything will just go according to the will of God uh, in my business and even in my career.